Welcome to the opening of a really, really exciting exhibition. It's one of the most exciting shows we've ever had here. Um, this artist is totally unique and um, the whole team, everybody involved in the gallery is thrilled to be standing here tonight and um, I'd like to welcome him. This is Rude here. Many, you, many will have uh, spoken to him this evening. Hi Rude. Thank you. For Thank you. We'll start in front of this remarkable picture, which comes from the series Theatre, and we'll come on to that in a second. But, Ruth, for those who don't already know, can you explain what we're looking at here? How this is created, what do you do to create it, where the images come from? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a montage, I call it a montage, it's not a collage, it, it uh, comes from collage, which is with paper and glue and, and that sort of thing. I started out with those, but then the computer came, this is in the early 90s, and there I saw you could uh, montage in Photoshop in a very perfect way. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I started to do uh, images that looked like photos, but are in fact totally constructed. and. Uh, this work is, uh, like all the trees have been photographed, of course, separately. Uh, all the leaves, actually everything you see is being photographed separately. I have a large database with, uh, with leaves, with trees, with all kinds of plants and flowers and uh, whatever. And uh, I work from that. First I, I collect a lot of photos and then I start creating. Yeah, I just start with an empty canvas and then just uh, putting uh, all, all trees in uh, and, and uh, try to make a composition which is a process that takes uh, yeah, about a week to get the composition right and then, then I start to finish uh, the work. So you will have spotted that one of the themes in a lot of these pictures is, is childhood. Um, there are lots of pictures of children. Why and where does it come from and what does it mean? Uh, yeah, when I started with the, the theme of innocence, uh, that was about 2005. Uh, so innocence is, uh, was, was an important theme. I was working with beauty. Uh, that's, that's just a choice that I made. Uh, and innocence is something that is actually quite beautiful, I think. And uh, children, they, they, um, they don't have a personality so much. Um, so they uh, can be used as symbols. And, and, and I wanted to portray the symbol of innocence. I mean, in, in, a, in a visual work, I mean, if, if the, it's an adult, you will see immediately what, uh, by his clothes, uh, yeah. uh, what kind of person he is. Express, and, we express yeah, 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 yeah. So I wanted to, to, uh, to work with the innocence and with beauty, so I combined them with nature and the, like the dresses uh, from my childhood. Uh, and uh, so I started the, the whole series uh, with children. Uh, the first one was with a, a white dress. Girl, uh, yeah, that's a symbol of innocence, of course. First, I did a white girl, and then I got criticized that I, I, yeah, the girl looked too white. She, she, she could have been an Aryan. Somebody told me that was a bit shocking for me to hear. And uh, then I tried a black child, and, and that happened to be something quite new in art history because black children uh, are not being used uh, as a, a symbol for innocence. And, uh, and that started off of the whole series uh, called Worlds. The references to your own childhood are very clear in the catalogue, and I hope you all grab a catalogue and, and look at the, the, the photographs that we've included in it that Rude gave us, which show you as a, as a little boy yes. um, in similar clothes, I mean, yes. very similar clothes. Yeah. Yeah, well, what, what, exactly, what, what was it like? It sounds like a silly question, but was there, was there a... a, a a stereotypical childhood in the Netherlands was it was it, it what was it like growing up in the 60s and was it very formal in your family? yes very formal very simple it was very uh, my childhood was like any other child uh, in, in those days uh, yeah just uh, 
very simple and, and, and sort of religious uh, childhood. So when you have all those uh, moments, you have to go to church and then all kinds of ceremonies take place. And uh, yeah. you're sort of, yeah, especially the girls are uh, dressed in white and they go to their communion in church and uh, yeah, they become children of God, all that sort of thing. It's, and it's, that is in the Netherlands, for instance, totally gone now. It's a lost world uh, yes. completely. I didn't particularly like it, but it was quite special. And you see here, I think, children in their Sunday best. This is what, yeah, yeah, as you yeah. were, as a, yeah. as a little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like that feeling. I mean, the clothes were very uncomfortable and, and, and you, uh, on Sundays, the Sundays were extremely boring and, and, and uh, yeah, you had to go to grandmother and all that sort of thing. But the feeling of it is something that I try to portray in, in that kind of works, like the series that is, is titled Sunday. One thing I wanted to ask you, right, that there, there is throughout all the work here a sort of attention, there's an element of I want to use the word sinister, it's not quite the right word, but there's a sort of, there's something that's unsettling about a lot of your work. And partly that's because it doesn't, it's, it's not real, and, and you, can, you can sense that when you're looking at it, even if you don't quite know why, if you don't know the techniques. How do you feel about that? Is, is that sort of deliberate? Do you, do you want people to, to, to sense that when they're looking at pictures, or is it a sort of byproduct? It's a uh, taste, I think. For, for a large part, it's, it's a, there's a tension in there that I like, yes. and, and so that's just my taste. Uh, some people completely don't like it, but it's also an effect when you, uh, uh, yeah, uh, when you disturb reality. I think, yeah. and that's what I do, of course. I mean, I take it out of the reality, and still it looks photorealistic, and uh, so you 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 get this, uh, uh, yeah. That feeling, that, that strange feeling that something is wrong. So much art, so much photography is so walk -byable. Um And I think Rude's work is unwalk -byable. It is, it is, you know, it, you have to stop and look at it and wonder what, what, what's, what, what's happening. And they drew people in. They, they, yeah, yeah. And I think that is true of all of these pictures. Um, sure. Rude, thank you very much. That was uh, really enlightening.